Hey all, this is Nick, and today I'm joined with Kate from Vin Solutions. And uh, the first video we're going to do with these guys is we're going to walk through uh, a couple lists that we could potentially pull, um, download, ex export, and then send to our agencies to target on Facebook uh, and Google, like we've been talking about in some of the marketing meetings. So, Kate, thanks for joining us. I really appreciate it. Um, if you sure. could maybe start walking us through one of them. Um, whether it's an equity list or an unsold lead list, that would be great. Sure, absolutely. So really the easiest way to do this in our product is to go right to the reporting function. And when you click on that tab, um, drill into the, Z, to the CRM portion, and that will open it up to where you can scroll down to a report that is called Customers Within Equity. It's so pretty simple. Um, when you click on that report, this is all of the customers that are currently in an equity position in your store. Um, when you're looking at this report, you can actually filter down by any of these just by clicking on it. So if you want to see customers, let's say in a shorter term, you just click a button, and the shortest term we have right now is 18 months with customers that are still in equity. So any of these are sortable up at the top. Um, also, if you would like to narrow down by specific year, make, and model, you can do that as well. As for exporting this list, right over here on the right-hand side, export CSV. So then that way you can go to um, any marketing that you would like and, um, and, and write an Excel. And you can, yeah, you can just save it to wherever you want in terms of your desktop or something like that so you can find it easily. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. It Perfect. just goes to export to where you can save it anywhere on your desktop or anywhere on your computer. Perfect. That's super easy. All right. So how do we how do we pull a list for let's say an unsold lead? Um, obviously, we got a lot of dealers that get hundreds, of, if not thousands, of lead on a monthly basis, and we only sell a fraction of them. So there's a, a big bucket of them that uh, maybe over the last 120 days that we can maybe talk to on Facebook or Google uh, through Display Network or AdWords or something like that. That'd be interesting sure. to see. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's several ways to um, search for a customer that's unsold. Uh, one of the easiest ways, and most sales reps and managers can do this, is if you get into the customer search function, uh, go down to recent if you would like, or um, it really doesn't matter. You can click into any of these, and you can just change the parameters over here on the left-hand side. So the, the main thing you need to, uh, need to narrow in on is the status, which in this case would be unsold, right? So... We don't obviously want the sold. We'll go to um, active and maybe lost as well, if that's what you guys are looking for, or just active, currently active right now and just unsold. Okay. So when you click on that, the filter's already um, already done for you. And then all you need to do is put in the time frame that you're looking for. So in this case, we'll go about four months back until today, which is the 22nd. And then when you hit search on that, that'll pull up a list for you to um, narrow in on all those customers. Got it. I think I did that backwards. <laughs> no, you're okay. Well, and it yeah. says sold there too. But so hypothetically, anyone that we sold in the last three months, you know, we could also use that for uh, who's due for Toyota Care this, you know, in this month because they bought three months ago too. That's unique. Absolutely. As well. And you can actually throw a task off of any of these from here. So if you would like to create a phone task uh, to call these customers, and they'll go to specific to maybe that sales rep or BD agent, um, you can do these right from here. So, or, again, export to CSV. So we would select them all and then hit that task or that select action and export to CSV, and that's it? Yep, that's correct. Awesome. Perfect. Well, this was really informational. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Sure, of course, Nick.